uh, I think, I don't know how many times Trump's violated his gag order, but I, I, I didn't understand it until last night. I was like, oh, he wants them to arrest him. That's what they want so badly is to is for a, a, a presidential candidate to be in, the, in in jail. Oh, that's a good look for, for Donald. If they I lock him all, up for contempt. It is yeah. hard to watch much more reporting than I do on this topic. And I've heard both. I, I've heard some people say what Trump really likes to do is get right up next to the stove and all but touch it. You know, he doesn't actually want to go to jail. He wants to do everything up to that line without crossing it. I've heard that uh, people who talk to him in private say he really, really doesn't want to go to jail. He would hate that. But I've also yeah. heard what Kyle said, which is like, it is, dude, for a guy who plays victim, this will double it down. He will be such a victim in this thing. He'll cry law. You tell me Biden locked up his, his opponent during campaign season? Is that what happened? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's uh, going to, that would rally a lot more people potentially yeah. to his side because that I mean, looks very banana republic because the intellectual is. part of me wants to be like biden has nothing to do with this he's not engaged he's not part of it this is a state level thing happening in new york that's not a biden but that doesn't matter the, the details don't matter what matters the attorney is the general is, uh, is a biden yeah, appointee is what matter if biden wanted to to like post is this the thing. attorney general or is this the state level thing that's happening? Oh, i don't think this level. is yeah this isn't frankly biden. this isn't federal yeah, frankly, it's hard to keep up with his many trials. I suppose this is the hush money trial. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, is it? Yes. Well, okay. yeah, the federal. <laughs> it's, I, it's they call it the hush up. money trial. It's it's about federal election. I saw that like that. Uh, that lady uh, fucking wrote about killing her puppy or whatever. The the, the Christy the, Gnomes, his potential VP oh candidate. Oh, God. Like, yeah. like they are dragging her to the I, I saw You see Mitt Romney briefly. was like, what at least happened? I didn't kill the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I didn't see that. What, what happened with her dog? I had a choice between keeping my small children and other people safe or a dangerous animal, and I chose the safety of my children. It was a dog that was uh, extremely dangerous. It had come to us from a family who had found her way too aggressive. Sean, you know how the fake news works. Um, they leave out some or most of the facts of a story. They put the worst spin on it. Okay, so she is a country girl, and she wrote an autobiography. And I think the way I heard it presented is it was some attempt to be like, I'm every bit as tough as the men are. She was going hunting, and she had a dog that was... Worse than useless, a puppy, I should say. She had a puppy that was worth when you, worse than useless. It was untrained. And she shot the puppy in the face because it was ruining their hunting excursion. There's not more to it than that? No. And when called out on it, she kind of doubled down. And she's like, you don't understand. This puppy really sucked. And she shot something else in the face, too. A goat? A goat. Was it a goat? She, she, she shot a goat in the face because it smelled bad. Probably goat like. <laughs> you know, she's no, she a is, Mexican for winking at her one time. <laughs> this is all I've, I've I have ever learned about this woman, and I don't like her. This is, <laughs> yeah, it, it does. Mean, nobody does. Fox no. News is ripping on her. Like Fox News, I, it, uh, who's the Judge Piero? I'm close to that, but not perfect. Oh God, yeah, her yeah, armpits she, are disgusting. Really? <laughs> yeah, she, she's I like older. her either. Then. She was like, America is a nation of dog lovers. We do not approve of this. All yeah, right. Damn, when she's, you lose she's Fox right. News, you know, you're I mean, you're off the course there. You, you need nobody likes people who kill dogs. Michael Vick I mean, was so good at running with that ball. <laughs> <laughs> and and then it shut that right down. He was not cool with shit, it. Dude, Michael Vick was a piece of shit. Because he was he, you know, he was torturing those dogs and killing them, all the rapes. He was breeding dogs. He was the his dogs were begging dog. for a bullet to the face. Yeah. <laughs> Like this yeah. wasn't just a guy who attended dog fights or had a dog that fought. Like this was his his yeah. side hustle was a fucking dog fighting. He was ring. the commish. He was the commish. He was in charge. Of, of, he had his finger in every dog pie. He was breeding dogs, like killing. They, there was like a bucket for drowning the dogs in, like like all sorts of shit. Fuck that guy. Yeah, he's he was so good in Madden yeah. 20, 2004. He was Ooh, good for the Madden 2004. Eagles. He was a god. So in his defense, <laughs> you were if you played with him in Madden 2004, you were cheating. I was playing all by myself. So That's odd matter. jobbing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he could just run away from the defense. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so fast. He was a ton of fun to watch. Like, like I actually watched the Falcons. You know, that was a couple. Do of they years like let him, him on like ESPN now for like anal analysis no, and really. stuff? I, I see him every. He doesn't now. really have the gift of gab. Yeah, he's, that's unsurprising. He's not. He's not. He's, he seems a little low energy. He's sort of 
um, like low key. It's not that he's unintelligent. He's just kind of low key. He he doesn't have that sort of, and he's not funny. Oh. Not funny. I like yeah. my dogs. They're hilarious. The dog toys are huge, bigger than your dogs. Like, like he has a rope that's like five feet long. The girth of it is enough that you couldn't put your hand around it. The girl has a like a chili pepper. It's like three and a half feet long. Crinkles when you bite it. Their toys are giant. They probably tear through them every three weeks. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, the, the rope lasts a long time, but he leaves it outside and then I mow it. And that's when we buy a new one. That's tactical. I bet he's like, I'm sick of this rope. Smells like mildew. <laughs> this, this, this rope has dog breath. This is, your rope smells disgusting. Oh, is that what I smell like? <laughs> Christy Dome would shoot me in the head for this. <laughs> yeah. Is she a governor? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think so. Maybe a congresswoman or something. Not for long. Like uh, yeah, going, going against Governor dogs. of South Dakota. Governor of South Dakota. Oh, they love shooting dogs up there. No, so now, it's the it's the official pastime of South Dakota. Dog shooting. Have you ever seen those like maps mm. where it's like this is what the U.S. would look like if like only the fucking uh, black people voted, or if only white people voted, or if only sure. like oh like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. only women only voted. Yeah, dude. If it, if there was a map that was like for dog lovers about Christy Nome, not one there wouldn't not even those states that have like goofy little ins, insular districts within them would have like it'd be it'd be all red or all blue whatever the, the fucking case was no one takes yeah. the side of a puppy killer yeah it's kind of not cool yeah, that's fucked up I, all i saw was that so that like some politician killed a dog and in my head i'm like Probably like an old cancerous hound that you know needed to be put out of its misery. No, just a just a spring chicken of a pup who had not been caught yet. You thought it was an old yeller situation, maybe. Yeah, a little old yeller situation. I've, I've had the old yeller several several dogs. It's real sad. I ran. Have I uh, I I can't remember if I ran it over or if another car did. But one of my dogs was laying there all crippled, like fucked up, screaming, and had to like jump out and shoot him immediately. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've had the old yeller a bunch of dogs. How many ever killed it well, five I, maybe have you ever put a dog down like at the vet no we did it in my living room for it. The, we did it in my living room this fall this fall we had the we uh you know we didn't want the dog to be scared at the vet's mm-hmm. office or anything oh they so, came to you yeah it's expensive did they take the dog away take the dog away and they send you the ashes and a little mm-hmm. fucking thing and like a little urn for the dog it's a wooden box um dude i yeah, so I real, real sad. I've been there for one of those before. It's horrible. Yeah. Oh, it I was incredibly crying. sad. Ah, oh, me too. Everybody was crying. Everybody in the room was crying. Like five of us. Typically, what happens is, um, like the they the first they put the, they give the dog an injection that just makes it like sleepy and restful and chill. Mm-hmm. So at this point, the dog has his head on my lap and I'm petting his or her ear, and then they give it something else, and it just sort of fades into sleep, and that's the end. Um, they gave us, you give a little time and I'm just like, it's almost like post nut clarity. Like, okay, the dog's dead. What do I do now? Do I just like walk away, like uh, tap it on the hip and tell it to get up? Yeah. <laughs> like, so I that's a weird TV on. <laughs> um, but the one time a dog had a heart attack at my house, that was weird because first of all, it's a great Dane. So it's not easy to treat the body like really respectfully. And uh, I carried it like it was alive and put it in the back of my pickup truck. Cause what do you do exactly? Yeah. And then I ride with this dead dog in the back of my pickup and I take it to the vet who can dispose of it. Well, they have a freezer for the dogs. If it was a little dog, you'd like place it in the freezer, but this is a ginormous great Dane. And like, I haven't told Jackie about it. I was afraid it would, like, make her feel bad. But the process was just sort of, you're holding it, and I dump it, like, back first mm-hmm. into a freezer. That, you know, one that would sit on the mm-hmm. floor. That's you didn't like want to get bucket. a graveyard going? Oh, at the house? Is, is this at Apex? No, we had just moved here. Oh. We always and... buried our dogs. We have a graveyard of them. <sighs> oh, you know, I considered that. But I don't really have that skill set. I don't have an excavator. I would you do it with a shovel? Yeah. You obviously you got a bigger dog than than yeah, I normally yeah. bury. I normally bury medium dogs. You've got you got to get a bigger <laughs> shovel. Yeah, you'd want an, a, a little excavator. Is it still called an excavator if it's on the back of a tractor, like one of those little things? I think a bit, I, I think that like a that's not a ditch witch. That's that big 
dirt chainsaw. The thing. one that Those has a bucket, you know, like that's yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. I guess it's an excavator. It excavates. Um, yeah, anyway, just the process of like dumping it unceremoniously into a freezer, and then they like had to push its legs away for the door to close. It was like that's the last time I ever saw them. Slam the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, it's it's rough stuff. Uh, our our little dog was tiny. They take it away in like a fucking Easter basket. It was as as good as the situation could have been, but really sucks. Mm. Hate losing dogs. Yeah. yeah. So nobody likes the lady that uh, clearly she says it was like an eighteen month old dog or something that had bitten people and was a training nightmare, which makes it a lot better. I mean, look, I'm picture. This is like that bear thing. Yeah. This is like that bear thing. How a woman probably can't picture a fucking bear. Sometimes it's hard to picture a shitty dog. Like if she's got a dog that's atta- actually attacking children and strangers and even like the people it knows if it when it first sees them, like what are you gonna do? If it, it was it a pit bull, I'd be cool with that. I'd be cool with that too. She could yeah. drown it. I, I'm stuck on the puppy part. <laughs> oh, did a puppy bite people? You could drag it behind the car. <laughs> all puppies bite people. Not the good ones. Well, I guess all I'm, of them kind of yeah, start my, out that way. Right? Yeah, they're, they're teething. Pretty, yeah. Yeah, yeah. my dog bites the shit out of me all the time, that little Pomeranian puppy, like constantly. But really you're not going to shoot him in the head. Won't do it. Won't get the flint lock mm-hmm. out and put him down or anything. I'll He's a man of principle. Kyle won't do it. He won't shoot his dog in the face. And this no. isn't like, uh, what do they call the opposition reporting? Like it's not our opposition research. This is her autobiography that she published herself. Yeah. Damn. No editor. Read oh, that what did they like, cut out? Right, hey, uh, this this part about executing the dog a maliciously. Black, he cut out the whole chapter about the black man that flirted with her that time. <laughs> 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 That's the last white woman he like, oh, <laughs> so What did you cut out, lady? Because like, because I don't. I know. bet nobody. The editor just was like, I'm not reading this boring. She's shit. the governor <laughs> of a state. Like, if you're gonna be the, you know, mm-hmm. I I wouldn't read a governor of a state. She's in charge of Mount Rushmore. Book. Kind but of. the main thing is, Taylor, that she was a vice presidential hopeful. Like she's in the not she's anymore. In the, yeah, she was in that like maybe group of five or three names that are kind of floating around. Um, not anymore. No. No. It would help Trump to have a girl on the card. A hot one. One who loves dogs. Who could talk shit. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want one, a hot one who could talk shit. Where? Okay. Where? Where's the hot one? There's Lauren Boebert and. Uh, Tulsi, Tulsi Gabbard. Gabbard. Those are the only two hot ones in the whole country. I could get down with Elise Savannah. Actually, Stefanik, yeah. Though. I don't know Elise Stefanik, but... She's got okay. a strong jaw, Woody. Look at that. I don't know yeah, who Elise Stefanik is. Bite your dick right in, off. In the world of politics, she's attractive. Tulsi Gabbard, I think, is winning this this five-person face-off here. Pretty Elise looks so much younger. I'm not sure. But... Tim Scott's got a two-story mouth. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out of here, Tim Scott. Oh, in he, terms of getting votes... That's gummy. You know, a black guy or a girl that would help. A black girl would be better yet. Wait, who's this? Were we tricked That's, on that previous picture? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, we don't know in that picture. She's not that bad, but this That's is the Elise one to the left. Uh, this is the uh, big jawed lady. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. No. Look, uh, Christy Gnome up there. Like, like she's got so much light on her that I can't tell who what species she is. So that's not even a real photo. Look at her eyes. They're <clears> CGI. Dude, none of <laughs> these. Tulsi and Lauren Boebert are the only two attractive politicians we have. Big fan of Tulsi Gabbard. I think she was on JRE this week, like talking about how Maui got like seven hundred dollars of relief money and Ukraine was getting sixty billion. Hmm. Vivek is the best speaker in that lineup, so that would help him. (laughs) Ramaswamy, (laughs) Ramaswamy, my God, five dollar name. How long did Trump practice that? He practiced his name. Oh. No, I in feel private, like... how long do you think he practiced Ramaswamy's name to make sure he respect got it right? Because this is his boy. Like, like Ramaswamy is as close to like a team player as you can get. He's like, I hope that's the VP because he he's not an, a pretty lady, but he can really talk. Well. Um, he's probably he no so time well. at all to practice his name because it's phonetic. Vivek Ramaswamy. Right. Vivek Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy. I just got it wrong. I wanted to go the hard Amaswamy. Midwest style, but I guess that's wrong. That's Saks Avenue Sultan. I'm actually the Sultan of Saks Avenue. That's what they're calling him, folks. I started it just now. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> not, not Arabic. He's a brown guy. Don't know where he's from. No one does. 
No one does. Anyway, <laughs> no feels safe. I'm pretty sure he knows more about the border than Vivek. I, am I right? I need to see his birth certificate. <laughs> crickets. Everybody's like, does he think Vivek is a Mexican? He's from Honduras. <laughs> some of those, one of those shitholes, but he came here. <laughs> mm. Look like what yeah. you made of yourself from nothing to almost a, a, a man. <laughs> Look at him. He's a, he's, I call him my little Aladdin. I call him my little Aladdin, folks. <laughs> I rub his little belly and all those boats come in. It's the American dream. He was running around stealing loaves of bread and whatever godforsaken hellhole he lived in. <laughs> and now he's the vice president of the United States. <laughs> stealing loaves of bread and singing songs. Singing songs, <laughs> eating genies. <laughs> Absolutely. That little street rat. Everyone's <laughs> talking about him. <laughs> That's uh, what that would be. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's okay. got his own. <laughs> my little, my little, I call him my little street rat. Don't we? <laughs> I wish I could remember the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> street rat. I don't buy that. I don't no, I want know. the one he does while stealing. Like, do 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 do. Uh. Yeah, I, I know the exact song, but I don't remember the lyrics. I haven't seen that movie since I was a child. Um, yeah. But Aladdin's one of the good ones. Aladdin's definitely like top Aladdin, tier OG great. Disney. That's when they weren't trying to make, you know, reprogram us or indoctrinate yeah. children. That's right. Um, where I go the other way is with pit bulls because I, cause I hate pit bulls more than people. Yeah. Mm. The worst animals, the worst dogs. They are probably the worst dog. They're by far the worst dog. Like if someone shows up to a dog park with a pit bull, fuck you. It's not sweet. It's not, oh, they're just the most sensitive dog. No. You bought a fighting dog I have an because exception. you have a weird relationship. I have an exception. You might be on violence. board. I used to have a violent dog, and in public we always had it muzzled. See, that's good. It probably wasn't a pit bull. It was a great dane. So it's a big, big dog, but it's muzzled. It can't even bark loud. A muzzled yeah. dog is like, mm, mm, mm. like try <laughs> to scream with your mouth closed. It's still scary. The muzzle's scary. You kind of have a kind of yeah. a Hannibal Lecter. Part of it's about how part of it's, it's uh, about how you like handle fabric. your dog. You know, like uh, oh, your dog did get loose and bite that lady though. We weren't there, so that technically that, I didn't handle it. it I don't know if that makes it better or worse. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I, it was a, <laughs> I'm not trying to <laughs> throw you under the bus here, but let's yeah, like, like, technically your dog did get loose and bite the lady. <laughs> Pish posh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my dogs did the same thing. All right, so like there was a knot in the fence, and my dog, there's a dog on the other side of the fence from, from my yard. This is the lady behind us. She's got a little floofy fucker. And I've got all my, I got four fucking dogs and Toby, the big, the big dog is up there scratching on the fence all day. He's scratching on the fence until he scratches one of the planks in two and it falls into their yard, snap cut in two basically by his claws. And then he sends in my Pomeranian as the first strike force. He's the edge <laughs> of the fucking blade, the tip of the spear. <laughs> 10 pounds of Pomeranian running at their back door, screaming, <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to make I Toby he, proud they've got a dog net like back door I thought my dog was going to invade I, I was like <laughs> he's going in like he's running for their back door he's going to go in there and get them I guess and here comes their floofy little like goober dog bites my dog and like <laughs> bows up like this is a floofy little like half poodle half mini poodle half like those things you had, like a teddy bear like dog, a cabin poo, yeah. bites my Pomeranian, stands over him like he's a boss. My Pomeranian mm. comes running for me, screaming bloody murder. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm and I'm looking through, I'm like Jack Nicholson on my knees, looking through this slit where the fence used to be, because it's not the whole plank, it's like two feet of it. And I'm screaming through it, I said die, because the lady's out there now. She's out there trying to intercede. And I'm like, I said die. You're yelling I said through die. the you're like, you're like Wilson and uh, what are you saying? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm screaming at the fucking dog. He finally comes back. It, it, he's lucky he didn't have a real dog or it would have killed his little ass. He's 10 pounds of nothing. <laughs> he got, it looks, sounds like he got taken on by like a 14 pound dog and lost. He did. That's exactly what happened. Like a, 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 a moderately larger adult dog. <laughs> <It's a> moderately... <laughs> yeah, that's all it took. I know it they had a 14 him. pounder back there. <laughs> and it wasn't a do? fight. It wasn't a fight. Like the other dog went. 
and like <laughs> nipped him once and our dog had never been bitten before because my dogs just take his shit all day and so does everybody else and my and he's just like oh my god <laughs> he's just like he like he's been to be honest i think his, i like this other dog hilarious the other yeah, dog was defending his it. home oh yeah, yeah. She, yeah. Apolog- was she was like i'm sorry he bit your dog and i'm like my dog's an asshole he shouldn't be in your yard like like he's an inv- this is the invader like it's his fault <laughs> yeah. your dog was in the legal yeah, absolutely. You go over that border, mm. whatever happens, happens. You, you know, built the walls don't work. I've been telling you guys for six Kyle's, years. Now. Kyle's yard is not sending their best. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the two big dogs are like hanging back, like because they can't fit through the fucking hole. Did the big dog? Did the big dogs like comfort Murphy when he got back, or were they just kind of like that's what you get, idiot? He was fine once he got back. Like like he just got scared or whatever. But, I'm yeah, sorry, no, you're care. reading your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck Nikita, man. That guy's such a piece of shit. That guy, I think that guy gets paid millions and millions. Is that of the dollars. Tarkov guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, he really upset his player base because I would. Dude, you I love Tarkov. Or you anyone did. else ever? I mean, this is like a Bud Light thing almost. Like their their player base just revolted. 